Good evening, Trisha here from SmithsCraftyCreations.com um, Right, so I'm a bit bored with doing cards at the moment So I am just going to do an off-the-cuff kind of project Which is to fill a 3D box frame With some um, Some little floral Quillings that I done um, using unbranded dyes and I have used the basic grey, the wisp of white and mambo melon is it? mango melody sorry mambo melon <laughs> yeah so basically I'm just going to um, see how I got on with that now this is 7.5 centimetres by 7.5 now this wee frame I got for £2 um, and it's all wooden you can get some cheaper ones but they tend to fall apart as you're building them right so what I've done is I have cut out a piece of wisp of white oh excuse me I'm slaving it on myself and I'm going to put some floral embellishments here and here now what I want to do first though is put a sentiment in the middle I wasn't sure about this. I don't know if it's maybe too much grey or too big a sentiment. So I think what I'll do is I was having a look at the needle and thread set and I thought I would just use this um, sentiment friend. So I'll do that first because th then I will need to um, work, around, work around the sentiment. So let me, I've lined all this up on my stamper artist. Can't speak today. I think that looks pretty straight. Edge it along. And I'm going to do this in the basic grey ink. So just, oh, it's not shut right. Hang on. Pop it open. Oh, maybe not. Come on, don't be shy. Fingers aren't working today again. Again, again, as always. Right, so I'm just going to ink up the stem. You need to be very gentle because it's too easy to get it actually all over your stamparatus. And if it's all over your stamparatus, you're wasting ink. Right. So there we go. I'm just going to double stamp this because I want it quite bold. A little firm pressure. Lovely. Right. So that's the easy bit done. Like so. Let me just clean the stamp. Oh, sniffle, sniffle. Right, now. Put this away. Right, so that's the stamping bit done. Very simple. Um, what I'm going to do though is remove that from here because the stamping is done. Pardon me. Mm, is that straight? Fuck, that'll do. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this part, this wooden section, onto the actual um, Wisp of White card because I don't want to be gluing flowers etc and, and then be a name um, overlapping kind of thing or we need to rip them off and start again so I'm just going to get my glue gun and just apply I try to be so delicate with this because you know what it's like it just comes flying out but the thing I like about the wet glue is if you um Spill it everywhere or it sticks to stuff. It's so easy to remove. Except from cardstock. I'm talking about if it's on your fingers, etc. Right, now let me get a bit... Whoops! Scrappy paper. I don't want to put this on top of my... Uh, grid paper pad. See what I mean? It goes everywhere. That's fine. There we go. And that's your frame done. Ta-da! 
I'm only kidding. Only kidding. Now I played about because I have bigger flowers, etc. But I think they're a bit overkill for this small frame. So um, I'm just going to have a play about. I want it to be symmetrical at each side. But I'll make these two opposite. Oh, I see, I think that's lovely. Right, let's just go for it. So, let me take these out. I had other little baby ones as well. Excuse me, the state of my fingers. I have been pick, pick, picking. It's bad habit, bad habit. Hang on, I've just dropped me. My glue stick. Now, you need to be very careful with your uh, glue guns. There's a couple of my fingers that have toughened up to this. But when I get it on a different finger, it, uh, it burns like hell. It burns, burns, burns. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little tweezers. And guess what? I have a Stampin' Up! order coming tomorrow. I can't wait. Hang on. This is coming off slightly. I should have let it dry proper. <gasps> See, burny, burny. This is great. Look, just peel it off. No mess, no mess. Right. So... You know what, I don't know whether I should, um... no, just be quiet, Trisha. Right, let me add in this little white flower up here. I just love working with, fro with, with florals. Got them all tongue-tied today. I put a suggestion into stamping up. I don't know if they used to do this, but... I've said to them, please, can you do a stamping up glue gun? Just to make my crafty life absolutely complete. Maybe they've done it in the past, I don't know. I've only been with stamping up since October, so. Right, how lovely. Look how well these colours go together. And these are the total, total in colours for... Um, Interior designers and whatnot just now. Everybody's going crazy for yellow, green, white. How pretty is that? Now let me test whether that is enough or whether I should hang on, or whether I should add in some of these gorgeous butterfly elements that I um, got free as part of the celebration. Now, they have these gorgeous, gorgeous little wooden um, leaf sections there. You know what? I am going to add them in. I am so going to add them in. Oops. Don't be heavy-handed. I've just broken one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a big one and a little one. Um, now there's lots, these are still available as part of the celebration um, and they're beautiful. I might actually stick a couple on the outside of the frame once it's finished. Look at all the butterflies. It's lovely. You could actually use, um, you know what, I'm going to do some more home, home decor projects with this. Watch this space. Right, so... I definitely need my tweezers for this. So I'm just going to put glue on it out screen for a second. Can you see that okay? Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'll bring some extra light in. Brilliant. Now. All I've done is put some glue on the stem. Now you do want to you want to hold this down because you don't want it falling off. Lovely. 
Again, I'm going to do it symmetrical on the other side. Not too much, not too much glue. And you want to kind of slip it in and under your flowers. Fantastic. Right now for the little bitty baby ones. Just fancy doing something different today. Sometimes you get a, I don't know what you call it, is it crafter's block? I just get fibro brain. So I do. Oh, look how pretty that is. I love it, I love it. I'm going to put this up on my shelves in my crafty space. Go display it proudly. Right, last one in here. Now you've got a couple of seconds before you need to before it starts drying. Isn't that awesome? Absolutely awesome. Let me just make sure it's sticking down. Thing is, if it was to come apart, all you need to do is reattach some, reapply some wet glue. And there we have it. That is it done. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? How long did that take? Not long. Don't get me wrong, the um, the quilling of the, the floral... I'm just cleaning my glass. It's a new frame, but it's manky. Um, the quilling of the actual flowers is what takes the most time. I could have cheated. And I could have used these um, non-branded ones. But that's just way too boring. Right, so apply your glass, then apply the frame. Now, you could actually um, use some chalk paint to change the colour. Let me zoom out a bit a second. To change the um, colour of the frame. They're only, I've only seen them in, uh, I think it's pine and white, so. Right, let me slide that in. Oh, oh just cover. I don't want to see where I've got it. All right, it's hobby craft. Four pound down to two pounds. But that's all about, I promise. And there we have it. How lovely is that? Do I could add some butterfly elements? I think I will. Let me look at it from top angle. Um. So I'm going to get the bigger size butterfly. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I think that's too much. You could do it there. But then it's kind of taken away. You could actually use... See, no, that's overkill now. But you can see what I'm doing. If you were to um, use the frame just for a photograph or what have you, you could quite easily... Um, well, is it up? No, upcycle. can't think. You could basically make the, the frame more prettier by adding um, embellishments and stuff. But there we have it. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I do have a bigger frame. Um, I might do something else with that. I might leave that to the weekend though. Um, I'm also going to be working on a... It's just short of a four size photo frame for a, a, a girl at my work who's about to leave to have a baby. So I had said to her I'd wanted to do a, a gift frame that would match in with the, the baby's room. Um, and I'm sure it's like... I'm sure it's neutral grey and... Pale, pale yellow, etc. I've got them colours in my Stampin' Up! collection. So that's perfect. Okay, anyway, um, I'll leave I'll leave that with you. Um, just a reminder, take part in the um, handmade card swap if you wish. Um, 
you can contact me, well, you'll find my address and whatnot over on the contact me page of my website, or you can send me a message through, um, look, I've just overkilled that, haven't I? <laughs> or you can send me a message through, um, a message or a comment through YouTube. Okay, so there we have it. That's me done. Um, let me know what you think. Take care, guys. Bye.